Well, we're very pleased with uh, the attorneys today in the presentation. And again, we think it's, it's crystal clear this is an issue of religious freedom. Uh, it is an issue of uh, the government trying to uh, impose its will on the things that we stand for. We have sincerely held religious beliefs. We believe that four of the uh, so-called contraceptive methods are in fact abortion inducing. And that's what we object to. Uh, we, we value life. It's not an incidental belief. Our beliefs are, are clearly connected to core convictions that are at the very heart of the Christian faith. The church has historically uh, always opposed the taking of life. The church has always supported life. Life is one of the greatest words in Christian traditions, one of the greatest words in scripture, and uh, that's where we stand. So uh, we, we oppose these uh, government impositions upon our sincerely held religious beliefs. And the consequence, if we do not uh, knuckle under, if we refuse to give in uh, to the government's uh, imposition, uh, then uh, there are draconian measures uh, that, that, we'll, that we will uh, experience and consequences that we will suffer. And uh, so it's, it's not uh, just a simple matter. It's not only uh, a theological matter, as important as that is today, or only a matter of a sincerely held religious belief. In some ways, our right to exist as an institution to hold these beliefs, and perhaps even our very survival at all, uh, is at stake. And so well, we're very pleased with the presentation today. And again, we, we hope and pray that uh, the Fifth Circuit uh, will do exactly the right thing, and that is stand for the First Amendment and the first freedom, which is religious freedom. Thanks. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Robert Sloan, President, Houston Baptist University. All right, now we will have Morgan St. John, who's a student at HBU. Okay. Um, Morgan St. John, M O R G A N S T period J O H N. Um, my name is Morgan St. John and I am a junior at Houston Baptist University. I applied to HBU because I wanted to go to a school that valued the same core principles that I value. HBU's mission is to provide a learning experience that instills in students a passion for academic, spiritual, and professional excellence as a result of our central confession that Jesus Christ is Lord. It never occurred to me that the government would try to force HBU to change its mission under the penalty of IRS fines. I am proud to stand here today on behalf of all of the students at Houston Baptist University who believe that students must be free to search for the truth and to live according to that truth. I stand here for all of those who think that the government should not force anyone or any institution to renounce its mission. I am standing here today proud to be a Husky. I hope the court will make the right decision, a decision that not only supports HBU's rights and those of its students, but also supports the core concept of freedom that makes this country great. Hi, uh, Eric Rosbach with the Beckett Fund for Religious Liberty. Uh, uh, I represent uh, uh, universities, East Texas Baptist University and Houston Baptist University. Uh, and we're in court today because uh, the, uh, they've been put to a terrible choice between following their deepest, deeply, most deeply held religious beliefs or paying outlandish fines and they're joining universities around the country in challenging uh, this law. So this, this is the case in Texas, but there's cases around the country about this. Um, unfortunately, uh, so fortunately, the, the, the federal district court here in Houston ruled in favor of my clients back in December of 2013. Uh, unfortunately, the federal government did not accept this ruling, and that's why we're here today hearing this appeal in front of the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. I can tell you that the judges were very engaged. They clearly uh, deeply gotten deeply into the briefs today uh, and asked some very uh, penetrating questions of all parties. And uh, we were, so I'm pleased about that, and I'm hopeful that uh, we will have uh, another ruling in our favor. We were right. Uh, back in December of 2013 when uh, we got a ruling in our favor and we're right today and we're going to be right again tomorrow. Uh, thank you.